Hello friends, welcome in today's session. Today we have to solve this sum 8 to the power x plus 27 to the power x divided by 12 to the power x plus 18 to the power x is equal to 7 upon x. This is a complicated sum, but if we use some tricks, then it becomes simple to solve. Let us solve this sum. Solution for this. First of all, 8 can be written as 2 cube. 27 can be written as 3 cube, 12 can be written as 2 square into 3 and 18 can be written as 3 square into 2. Put these values in this equation. Hence, given equation can be written as 8 is replaced by 2 cube and its power is x plus 27 is replaced by 3 cube and its power is x divided by 12 we can replace by 2 square into 3 and its power is x plus 18 we can replace by 3 square into 2 and its power is x this is equal to right hand side is 7 upon x now we know laws of indices a to the power m to the power n is equal to a to the power n to the power m which is again we can write a to the power m into n so applying this law of indices on left hand side of above equation this can be written as 2 to the power x to the power 3 plus 3 to the power x to the power 3 divided by 2 to the power x to the power 2 into 3 to the power x plus 3 to the power x to the power 2 into 2 to the power x this is equal to 7 upon x here we are applying this property of laws of indices a into b to the power m can be written as a to the power m into b to the power m. So, this we can write in this form and this also we can write in this form. Let us assume 2 to the power x is equal to a and 3 to the power x is equal to b. Then this equation becomes a cube plus 3 to the power x is b, b cube divided by a square into 3 to the power x is b plus b square into 2 to the power x is a. This is equal to 7 upon 6. But we know a cube plus b cube is equal to we can write a plus b into bracket a square minus a b plus b square and we can take a into b common from denominator hence numerator becomes a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square divided by taking a b common from denominator a plus b and this is equal to 7 upon 6 now here this bracket a plus b cancels with this bracket a plus b hence the remaining terms left hand side becomes a square minus a b plus b square divided by a b is equal to 7 upon 6 now from this step onwards, we can solve the same sum applying two methods. Now here, method number one, dividing each term in numerator by AB, A square upon AB minus AB upon AB plus B square upon AB is equal to 7 upon 6 
simplify this square cancels with this a and here also square cancels with this b left hand side can be written as a upon b minus a b a b gets cancelled plus b upon a is equal to 7 upon 6 taking this minus 1 on right hand side a upon b plus b upon a is equal to 7 upon 6 minus 1 taking on right hand side it becomes plus 1 and this is equal to 6 into 1 6 plus 7 13 upon 6 hence now consider a upon b is equal to new variable p suppose then b upon a will be reciprocal of t that is 1 upon t hence left hand side can be written as t plus 1 upon t and right hand side 13 upon 6 let us simplify this t into t t square plus 1 divided by t is equal to 13 upon 6 taking cross multiplication it becomes 6 t square plus 6 into 1 6 is equal to 13 t hence 6 t square minus 13 t plus 6 is equal to 0 taking this 13 t on left hand side using factors method 6 into 6 is equal to 36 we want factors of 36 so that their addition will be minus 13 so let us factorize 36 in the form of minus 9 into minus 4 minus 9 plus minus 4 minus 13 hence this can be written as 60 square minus 90 minus 40 plus 6 is equal to 0 taking 3t common from first two terms and taking minus 2 common from last two terms hence we can write 3t into bracket 2t minus 3 and from here we are taking minus 2 common 2t minus 3 is equal to 0 now take this bracket common hence we can write 2t minus 3 into 3t minus 2 is equal to 0 but we know a into b is equal to 0 this implies either a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0 or a is equal to b is equal to 0 hence we can write 2t minus 3 is equal to 0 and 3t minus 2 is equal to 0 this gives 2t is equal to 3 taking this 2 on right hand side t is equal to 3 upon 2 and from here 3t is equal to 2 hence t is equal to 2 upon 3 but you know a is equal to 2 to the power x and b is equal to 3 to the power x put these values here and here hence p is nothing but a upon b is equal to 3 upon 2 and from here a upon b is equal to 2 upon 3 but a is 2 to the power x and b is 3 to the power x is equal to 3 upon 2 2 to the power x upon 3 to the power x is equal to 2 upon 3 but by laws of indices a to the power m upon b to the power m is equal to a upon b to the power m hence we can replace this by 2 upon 3 to the power x is equal to 3 upon 2 and from here 2 upon 3 to the power x is equal to 2 upon 3 3 upon 2 is nothing but reciprocal of 2 upon 3 hence 2 upon 3 to the power x is equal to 2 upon 3 to the power minus 1 and keeping this as it is 2 upon 3 to the power x is equal to 2 upon 3 to the power 1 now here 
base is same 2 upon 3 on left hand side as, as well as on right hand side and powers are different x and this minus 1 base are same hence x is equal to minus 1 and from here we can write x is equal to 1 hence there exist two values of x x is equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 1 this is method 1 now method 2 we have obtained a square minus a b plus b square divided by a b is equal to 7 upon 6 from here taking cross multiplication we can write 6 into a square minus a b plus b square is equal to 7 into a b multiply this bracket by 6 6 a square minus 6 a b plus 6 b square and right hand side is 7 a b take right hand side on left hand side and 6 a square minus 6 a b minus 7 a b plus 6 b square is equal to 0 minus 6 ab minus 7 ab that is minus 13 ab and 6 a square minus 13 ab plus 6 b square is equal to 0 but 13 ab can be written as minus 9 ab minus 4 ab hence 6 a square minus 9 ab minus 4 ab plus 6 b square is equal to 0 now take 3a common from first two terms and minus 2b common from last two terms hence this can be written as 3a into bracket 2a minus 3b minus 2b into bracket 2a minus 3b is equal to 0 now take this bracket common from both the terms on left hand side hence 2a minus 3b into 3a minus 2b is equal to 0 but we know a into b is equal to 0 implies a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0 or both a and b are 0 hence we can write 2a minus 3b is equal to 0 and 3a minus 2b is equal to 0. Hence, taking this minus 3b on right hand side, 2a is equal to 3b. Taking this b on left hand side and 2 on right hand side, a upon b is equal to 3 upon 2. And here, 3a is equal to 2b, a upon b is equal to 2 upon 3. But we know a is equal to 2 to the power x and b is equal to 3 to the power x hence 2 to the power x upon 3 to the power x is equal to 3 upon 2 and applying laws of indices 2 upon 3 to the power x is equal to 3 upon 2 is nothing but reciprocal of 2 upon 3 hence from here we can write x is equal to minus 1 and here a is replaced by 2 to the power x b is replaced by 3 to the power x is equal to 2 upon 3 now this can be written as applying laws of indices 2 upon 3 to the power x is equal to right hand side becomes 2 upon 3 to the power 1 base is same hence powers must be equal applying this law of indices x is equal to 1 in this way we have obtained x is equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 1 these are values of x which are real values of x Hence, answer is x is equal to plus or minus 1 which belongs to real values and this is answer. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you for watching this video. Thanks a lot.